Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to talk to you about getting out of your head and anyone who's ever known about imposter syndrome or um, how your thoughts and your sort of subconscious can produce all these thoughts in your head will understand that at times it can be really overwhelming especially when your mind catches on something. It could be an insecurity, it could be a fear. Um, when I was thinking about this before I obviously sat down, I was remembering a time in my life many, many years ago, like 20 to 30 years ago, when I was living with someone who sometimes used to go away. It was actually right up north in Botswana on a farm and there was no electricity and things like that and no telephones at the, in those days either and he would disappear off and quite often the power, the generator that we had would go for some reason, I mean it's just so typical, it would break on the nights that he wasn't there. And I remember sitting miles away from anywhere on this farm in the middle of nowhere in the pitch black being quite anxious and not knowing when he was going to come home. And I knew that if I allowed myself to, I could work myself up into a complete state about it all and be quite agitated and upset and you know quite stressed. But what I learnt at that time, <laughs> all those years ago, was how to distract myself. In those days, it was generally reading a story or doing some cleaning or doing something else to take my mind of whatever it was that it was attached to and working itself up about. Now, those thoughts in our head, the reason for those thoughts is to do with our subconscious. I've mentioned many times in these episodes how our thoughts are a product of our subconscious mind. And our subconscious is, its sole purpose is to ensure our survival. Now, when something happens in our environment that our subconscious detects as a threat to our existence, then it produces thoughts and emotions to get us to act in a way that it feels would benefit our survival. But when we act out of fear, when these prompts prompt us, quite often they can create the very thing that we do fear. So for instance, if I had succumbed to the fear that I felt at that time, I'm trying to even remember what the fear was, um, I would have most likely been far more distressed than if I'd learned to distract myself. Now, the things that our subconscious can see as a threat to our survival can be many things. They can be, and I'm just sort of thinking back to the possibilities of those times. I mean, it could have been that I was alone and vulnerable and that somebody might have approached the house um, or some creature. I was living in the bush in Africa. <laughs> Um, it could be that the person I was living with didn't care about me and might leave me completely. Um, I was very young at that particular point in my life. It could be um, feelings of um, being criticised by other people. Um, it could be feelings of not being good enough. It could be feelings of being alone. Any number of feelings. And when we perceive that that could be what's about to happen in our life, the thoughts can take over and they can be quite overwhelming. They can cause us to become clingy, they can cause us to become offish and standoffish and defensive, they could cause us to become argumentative and a whole number of things. Now, I always think that action eventually is good in these situations, but the action should not come from the fear. What this episode is really about is learning how to switch off that noise in your head or learning how to distract yourself so that it's not a constant going on in your head. It could even be that you're stressed about something at work and your mind keeps on worrying over it. The problem is the more that it worries over it, the more stressed you become. And I think nowadays our society, so many people are incredibly stressed. And the stress comes not from the actual event or the perception of something that might happen. The stress comes from this constant um, noise in our heads that goes on and on and doesn't give us any rest. So when you find yourself in a situation where your thoughts have run rampant and gone completely crazy, then what I'm suggesting is you distract yourself. You get a book, you do some cleaning, you watch a TV program, you go for a walk, or do something where you are absorbed and your mind just cannot keep on thinking thoughts. It almost has to be focused on something so that it can let go of what it's obsessed about. And when you can find yourself in a much calmer, more neutral place, then choose what you need to do about whatever situation that has your mind in a complete turmoil. And only make those choices about the actions you want to take when you're feeling calm and neutral. 
as I said, if you make those decisions when your mind is on a spin, then the things that you choose to do will most likely exacerbate the situation. So remember to sort of learn to distract yourself in some way, to find some peace and quiet, then choose something you want to do. And the only thing that will take you through where you are is action or inaction if it's appropriate or a conversation or something. You cannot think yourself out of a situation. And that's why we end up, the picture that comes to mind is a car that's wheels are spinning and the engine is straining and everything's sort of smoking and heating up, but it's not going anywhere. It needs to find traction. It needs to find a grip and a direction and something to do. And that's what we need to do when we're stressed. We do need to find action, but I'll stress again that that action must come from the right place. It must come from a place when we're feeling calm and neutral and we can see things clearly and not come from a place when our mind is completely spinning out of control. I hope you've enjoyed this and I wish you a fabulous week ahead. Again, as I always say in the, in the show notes below are links so that you can contact me either through for my online courses or for my coaching or just because you have a question you want answered. You can also leave comments below this episode and I will always answer them if I can possibly do that. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.